So you want to start your dog on a homemade raw diet, but your biggest concern is making sure that you are balancing all of the nutrients that they need to provide them an adequate diet. Don't worry, because in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an easy homemade raw dog food, you can also cook it, recipe that is going to be 100% nutritionally balanced for your dog. And I want to give credit for this recipe to Dr. Karen Becker and Rodney Habib, uh, two people who are on the forefront of changing how we see nutrition for our dogs and cats, and um, two really, really great advocates for our pets. And um, they came up with this recipe, so I wanted to pass it along to you because it really is easy, something you can do at home um, just by going to the grocery store and picking up a few items. And uh, if any of you have been following our transition to a raw food diet for our dogs and cats, one of my main concerns in making a homemade diet um, has always been making sure that the nutrients are balanced or, or the dogs and the cats are getting everything they need, all the vitamins, minerals, nutrients that they need. And of course, one way to do that is by supplementing, by using supplements. And that's great, you can do that, but you can do it by using whole foods. You can do it by using real food without having to use the supplements. This is even better for your pets because the body actually utilizes nutrients differently when they come from a real food source versus um, like a supplement. Uh, type product. So anytime we can use uh, real foods to provide the nutrients that our pets need, that's the best way we can feed them. So let's get started in this really easy homemade raw food. Again, you can also cook this if you're um, not quite ready to take the plunge into a raw food diet. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start out with 14 ounces of ground beef. Now we need at least 90% lean ground beef. I have here 93% ground beef. We need it to be at least 90% because dogs have a high amino acid requirement. So the leaner the ground beef, um, the greater the amino acids are going to be in the meat. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of hemp seed oil. This is going to help balance out the fats in the ground beef. Then we're going to add a half teaspoon of kelp. This is going to add iodine and a half a teaspoon of ginger, which is going to give our dogs the manganese they need to protect their ligaments. Then we are going to add one egg, but make sure before you add the egg, before you crack the egg, that you wash the shell of the egg because we're going to keep half of the eggshell and save it for later. Now, if you followed my transition to raw food diet videos in the past, you know that the egg is the perfect protein, so we're adding lots of great protein here. Okay, now in our food processor, we are going to add half a can of sardines, or about two ounces of sardines. Make sure when you buy the can of sardines, you get them packed in water with no salt added. We're going to add that half of an eggshell that we saved from where we cracked the egg. Uh, the eggshell is going to provide lots of calcium. It's going to provide enough calcium to um, adequately supp supply your adult dog. However, it is not enough for a puppy. So remember, this is for an adult dog. We're going to add about an ounce of beef liver. This is going to provide copper, zinc, and iron to our dog. We're going to add broccoli, red bell pepper, and we're gonna add spinach. Now, all of these yummy veggies are going to be adding antioxidants, vital nutrients, enzymes, and fiber. So let's go ahead and get this blended up. All 
All right, now we are going to combine all of these yummy ingredients together. And there we have it. Our homemade dog food, completely nutritionally balanced using only. We can take this and we can feed it raw. We can cook it. Either way, your dogs are gonna love it and they're going to have a nutritionally balanced, delicious and healthy meal. So um, what you're gonna wanna do, especially if you're feeding this raw, is only keep about three to four meals or about uh, two days worth in the refrigerator at any given time. The rest you can freeze. Your dogs are going to love this. This is super easy, something that you can get all of the ingredients for on your own. Now, I do want to let you know that the key to a raw diet with balance is variety. So even though this is a balanced, a nutritionally balanced meal for your dogs, what's going to be even healthier for them is mixing up all of the foods that they're getting, um, that means the muscle meats, the organ meats, um, using different animals muscle meats. So like this has beef, you can use lamb, rabbit, um, chicken, duck, all different kinds of animals are going to be, that's going to be best for them nutritionally. Mixing up the fruits and veggies that we provide to them. Uh, eggs are going to be a key component again because they are the perfect protein. The shells have tons of calcium in them which are great. Um, but this is just one example of a nutritionally balanced meal that you can make at home for your dogs. Uh, again, this is really great to feed raw. You can also cook it. When you cook it, all you want to do is put it on the stove top and your uh, goal is to get the meat to 165 degrees. So um, you don't wanna overcook it. The more you cook it, the more uh, nutrients you are gonna lose in it. So the goal is just to get it to 165 degrees. That's gonna be good enough um, to not kill any nutrients, but to make sure it is cooked enough that uh, if, if you're concerned um, in, in that front. So this is gonna be a really great meal for our dogs tonight. I know they're gonna love it. So let's see what they think about it. All right, Kimberly, I know it's not your dinner time yet, but let's give it a try. Did you like it? Did you like it? Did you like yours, Gracie? Oh. Oh, really? Was it good? So there you have it, a nutritionally balanced, homemade, raw food meal you can make for your dogs. Also a cooked meal, if you prefer it that way. Still nutritional. Until next time, I'll see you 